Well, folks, here we are again. This will be the last forecast of 2013 with the university shutting down. And once again, we have another storm system that's going to make its impact across a broad section of the country. Currently, we have that storm system just to the south of us, and it's moving in a northeast direction to the Great Lakes. And Nebraska sits on the northern periphery of the heavy snow band. So if this storm system does lift up at least 100 miles toward the north, we'll be looking at some significant snowfall across southeast, east central, and portions of south central Nebraska. At present track, we're looking at minor accumulations, generally less than four inches across an area south and east of Omaha, to essentially Lincoln, to probably Hebron. But again, northward placement of the storm system puts us into a much more significant precipitation event. So let's take a look at the upper air models and see how the storm is going to progress and what we might expect as we move toward the Christmas Day period. As we go to the upper air models, here's that storm system that's ejected out of the southwest. It's now moving its way up toward the Great Lakes. The cold air is in place. Right now, southeast Nebraska is estimated to have anywhere from a tenth to a quarter inch of liquid equivalent precip. Based on the, the air temperatures, that would translate to an inch and a half to upwards of three and a half inches of snow. If it makes a little bit farther northward placement, we'd be looking at much more significant snowfall across portions of southeast Nebraska as we have winter storm warnings all the way from southwestern portions of Kansas, northeastward through southeastern uh, Iowa. Again, that northward placement really jumps our precipitation totals up and snowfall totals up almost double in the areas currently projected to see one to three inches. Now, as we go to tomorrow, this system will rapidly pass toward uh, the northeast and we'll see the cold air behind it. So basically in and out clouds for most of the day. A few flurries are possible across northeast Nebraska. Temperatures are hard pressed to get out of the low teens across northern Nebraska and we'll probably be very close to the 20 degree mark across extreme southern Nebraska. Now as we get into Monday, this system kind of deepens over the Great Lakes and we might get some cold air wrapping around it and bring some flurry activity extreme eastern Nebraska, definitely some clouds. But in western Nebraska, the ridge tries to build in and we'll get a little bit of warming conditions. We may actually break the 30 degree mark across the panhandle region of the state. Now as we get into Tuesday, we see that that ridge moves toward the east. We get another little trough trying to work in, but the flow as it comes across the mountains will be pretty much zonal doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with, so at the best we'll be looking at some scattered flurry activity, particularly the panhandle. And then on Wednesday, that energy pivots around another piece of energy across the Dakotas, and some of this may actually move across northeastern Nebraska during the late afternoon, evening hours, and some of that may actually reach down into southeastern Nebraska before Thursday morning. But otherwise, it doesn't look like much in the way of significant accumulations. Then we start to see a warming trend on Thursday as the trough moves east and warmer air moves into our region. And on Friday, we see the ridge building in, so it looks to be fairly nice conditions. Might be a little bit of a cool down in northeastern Nebraska. The temperature forecast looks very cold with this chance of snow this weekend. Gradual warming trend through uh, Christmas, and then we cool down for the remainder of the week. The 8 to 14 day forecast indicates the cold air will continue, and in terms of precipitation, a dry trend is indicated through the remainder of the year.